The uncertainty principle is at the core of quantum mechanics. And with regards to position, what it tells you is that the uncertainty in position multiplied by the uncertainty in momentum must be greater than or equal to Planck's constant divided by 4 pi. Now, Planck's constant is a very small number. It's something like 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 34 joules seconds. Well, that tells us that the uncertainty in position and momentum can be very, very small, but they can't be zero. So what I'm saying is you never know exactly a particle's position and momentum at the same time. And that's kind of an amazing thing if you think about it. I mean, we look at a person, we say, well, he's standing over there and he's moving at one meter per second. We know both, obviously. But uh, when you delve deeper and go into the quantum range, it really doesn't work that way. Let's do a numerical example. Let's say, for example, you have an electron. And electrons have mass of 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31, oops, 31 kilograms. And let's say, for example, that we happen to know its position to an accuracy of plus or minus one millimeter. So we have a millimeter ruler, for example, and we take our ruler and we line it up with the electron and we say, well, it's somewhere around here. That's the best accuracy we can measure with. Well, then I ask you, how accurately can we know its speed? Well, let's go over here. We know that the change in momentum for non-relativistic speeds is simply the mass of the electron times the change in velocity. And we can apply the uncertainty principle. So change in x, change in momentum, has to be greater than or equal to h over 4 pi. So if I want to know what's the best we can know its, its momentum, well, we'll set this equal here. And this, you know, if you just go to order of magnitude, it's about 10 to the minus 34 joules per second. So again, working with order of magnitude, I have change in position, 10 to the minus 3 uh, meters. And then the momentum, well, it's the mass of the electron, which is uh, about 10 to the minus 30th kilograms times its uncertainty in velocity. That's all that's delta p. And so at best, it can be equal to 10 to the minus 34th joules per second. And if we uh, multiply things out, I get this guy plus that guy, and that gives me a 10 to the minus 33 uh, meters, kilograms, and that's times the change in speed, and then that's equal to 10 to the minus 34 joules per second. Well, if we go ahead and divide both sides by the 10 to the minus 33, uh, meters, kilograms. Well, then what we get is we get an accuracy, the best accuracy we can get for this electron speed is going to equal 10 to the minus 1, which is 0 0.1 meters per second. So what I'm saying is, if we know the position good to a millimeter for, this ele for an electron, the best we can know its speed is this. We cannot get any more accurate than this. And that is the uncertainty principle.